Welcome to the Nintendo Power Zone, guys. It's nice, and we are back again with a brand new unboxing video. And I am so excited to unbox what we have here on the table. We are finally finishing out wave, I believe, four of the Funko Pop Pokemon line. Um, they have released so many at this point, I've truly lost count of what wave we're actually on. But anyway, today we have Raichu and we have Mew. Two Pokemon that I love very much. Uh, I love Mew because I love the lore that's tied to the character in that original game. There is not a whole lot of lore in the original Pokemon game, but Mew is one of the characters that is specifically tied to lore, specifically when you think about the creation of Mewtwo, and they've expanded upon that lore in other forms of media such as movies, uh, specifically the first Pokemon movie uh, and the remake of that movie, uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. And then Raichu. I love Raichu. I love so much about what Raichu is. I love the fact that it's kind of always been a rival to Pikachu. Uh, we see it in that Lieutenant Surge episode of the original series. We see it in the Pikachu um, Pokemon Vacation short. I love those little shorts and I love whenever Raichu and Pikachu get together and they just, they just can't stand each other and I think that's just so cool because it's like hey we're kind of blood relatives however we hate each other it's kind of like the relationship I have with a lot of my family members you know anyway it is a little upsetting that it took this long to get right to but Funko finally did right by the character and gave us his own Funko Pop so yeah I cannot wait to unbox it so guys I don't want to dilly dally anymore let's go ahead take a look at these boxes so we can remove them from the packaging Alright guys, let's go ahead and start with Mew because there's a lot about Mew that I really have to talk about. Um, first and foremost, I think this is the best pose they have done for the Funko Pop Pokemon line. It is Mew. This is what I envision Mew to be in any kind of toy. It comes with drawbacks though. Um, but I just want to focus on this pose because it's absolutely brilliant. It's just the way I envision Mew. It's the way we've seen it in all forms of media. We've never actually seen Mew just standing still on any type of ground. It's always flying and it's always playful and this pose really invokes the playfulness of Mew as it's floating in there. It's a really adorable pose and they've done a fantastic job. I thought Cubone was the best looking Funko Pop Pokemon, but this Mew really does a fantastic job of really capturing the essence of what this Pokemon is, and I think that's fantastic. Now let's get to the drawbacks though. A pose like this requires a stand, and I've never been a fan of stands, especially clear stands. Um, I just don't like them, and I always think that it's a crutch when a figure needs a stand to basically stand upright. It's, it's a crutch. I get it here, and so I can't really dock too many points or criticize Funko too much for it because this is what the Pokemon is. I've just never been a fan of the stands and unfortunately this is what it requires to do Mew any type of justice. That being said though, I give Funko so much credit for really nailing this that I can forgive the fact that it has such a big blatant stand. I love it, I'm happy to have it in my collection and I can't wait to put this next to my Mewtwo. And moving on to Raichu, the final evolution in the Pikachu evolutionary line. That is if you're stopping at the first five gens. We do know that there is a variant of Raichu, which is the Alolan Raichu, which is exclusive to the Alola region, and I believe Galar for some reason. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have Raichu, and guys, it looks really good, really good. They have done so many Pikachus, but this takes the cake. I love the fact that Raichu has no fingers, just like in the actual game. It is brilliant, it just looks so good, it's so good. I love the paint, guys. They've done a really good job. Um, they've done a really good job, especially in the cheek sacks, right? Because Raichu's fur is, you know, a little bit tannish, but he's got the yellow cheek sacks. I thought that would be hard to pull off. I think Funko did a pretty good job here in painting those cheek sacks to look really good. They don't stand out quite as much as the red cheek sacks do on the Pikachu Pops, 
but this is a really good job. The pose is very much evocative of Raichu, and when I see this, I do get the Raichu vibe. Not as great as the Mew, but I'm definitely getting the vibe, and I do believe that this has a bigger head than the standard Pikachu Funko Pop. We're gonna have to wait until we get to that comparison photo to see if it is bigger, but so far, I think it is. And if it is, that's good attention to detail by Funko. Now we know that this line has no real scale. They just do whatever they want with the Pokemon and release them in the standard four inch scale that Funko does. But yeah, it means that a lot of these pops just aren't in scale, especially when you look at the Pichu being as big as the Pikachu. It is a little jarring, but it is what it is. Guys, with that being said though, let's take a look at Raichu standing next to some Pikachu pops. Alright guys, you know what time it is. It is score time, my favorite time. Why? Because I get to tell you whether or not something is actually worth your hard-earned money. Now guys, these are retailing for about $10.99 at pretty much every retailer. I got the Mew at Hot Topic and I got the Raichu at Books A Million. Same price. And it's time to tell you what I think about these pops. So, starting with Mew. I think Mew might be one of the best Pokemon in this line. It is right up there with the Cubone for me. As you guys know, if you've been paying attention to these unboxing videos, I gushed over how much of a good job Funko did with um, Cubone. They've done it again with Mew. They really have. This really captures the essence of Mew. Now, it did require that Funko make a concession and give this Pokemon one of the ugliest stands I have ever seen in any kind of toy. But it was the sacrifice that needed to be made, and I'm not going to dock them any points for that, despite the fact that I hate stands. I think they made the right call here, and they gave us an excellent Funko Pop that looks very much like the character model that we have in-game. So I'm going to go ahead and say that Funko did a fantastic job there, and with Raichu, they've also exceeded my expectations. They've gotten really good at doing Pikachus. They certainly have. We keep getting all these different variants of Pikachu. And I didn't know if they were going to be able to pull off Raichu, but lo and behold, Funko takes me by surprise yet again. And they give us a, you know, a Pokemon Pop that I'm proud to have in my collection. And I can't wait to display it side by side with the Pikachu Pops. Because, yeah, it looks good. It took a long time to get here, but we did finally get Raichu. And for that, I gotta say thanks, Funko. Now let's keep rolling these out because I really, really want a Muck and a Grimer. Don't let me down on those because... I'm not really a big fan of the pace at which you're releasing these pops. Um, we've been doing this line for about two and a half years now. Let's get the ball rolling. Anyway guys, these two figures, I think both get nines. Uh, there are some sacrifices that need to be made to make the Mew Pop work. And the Raichu Pop, uh, it's great, but it's not as good as I think they could do. Um, especially when you see what they've done with all these different variations of Pikachu. But yes, it's still a fantastic job. So yeah, they both get nines, they both get our Nintendo Power Zone seal of quality, and I think they deserve it, man. This is just a line that continues to expand, and with each expansion, these pops just look better and better. So yeah, Funko, keep up the good work, keep releasing these pops, I love them. Now get me a goddamn Muck and Grimer, please. Anyway guys, it's time for me to get out of your hair, but before I let you go, social media links, you can hit me up on Twitter at nice1983, email me at nice1983 at gmail.com, hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Nintendo Power Zone. If you're a fan of the Nintendo Power Zone podcast, download episodes on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, wherever you download your podcast or listen to them, you can find us. If you want to watch the video version though, we're exclusively here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching today guys, and remember to stay fresh, deuces!